Hello friends, welcome to Intellect Medicos, learning made easy. If you haven't subscribed till yet, do subscribe our channel to get the updates about our new videos. In this video, I'll be discussing about metabolic acidosis. This is a very important topic in our clinical practices, whether we are treating our patients in wards, ICUs, OTs or emergencies. So first of all, as it is metabolic, there occurs primary decrease in bicarbonate, which is less than 24 milliequivalents per liter. And a fall in plasma bicarb without a proportionate reduction in PSU2 decreases pH to less than 7.35. Metabolic acidosis can be categorized into two types, high anion gap acidosis and normal anion gap acidosis. Now let's first discuss about anion gap. It is a difference between measured plasma cations and measured plasma anions, that is sodium minus chloride and bicarbonate. The normal range of anion gap is 10 to 16, which is 12 plus minus 4. Now coming on to causes, you have to remember all the causes, all because if you want to treat metabolic acidosis, first of all you have to treat the underlying cause. Remember causes of high anion gap by a mnemonic sad piles, where S for starvation ketoacidosis, A for alcoholic ketoacidosis, D for diabetic ketoacidosis, P for paracetamol and feraldehyde, I for increased urea, that is uremia which occurs in renal failure. L for lactic acidosis, E for ethanol and methanol, and S for salicylates. Now as the causes are very important and sometimes it becomes very difficult to memorize full form of abbreviated mnemonics. So you can memorize these causes by this funny picture as well. Here is a diabetic superman. So D is for diabetic ketoacidosis and he is looking angry in this pic. So think as if he is starving and having a headache after doing a lot of work. So starvation ketoacidosis. And for starvation, he takes alcohol to regain his energy that can be ethanol or methanol. For headache, he'll take paracetamol or salicylates. And as he is a diabetic, so renal failure can be there. So try to remember the mnemonic and this picture. You'll never forget any single cause. Now causes of normal and ungap acidosis can be remembered by a mnemonic used car. This is a used car of that diabetic superman, where U for ureterostromy. S for small bowel fistula, E for extra chloride, D for diarrhea, C for carbonic and hydrase inhibitors use, A for adrenal insufficiency and R for renal tubular acidosis. Next is symptoms of metabolic acidosis which can be remembered by a mnemonic no acid where no for nausea and vomiting, A for arrhythmias, C for confusion, loss of consciousness. I for increased heart rate and increased respiratory rate which is Kussmaul's respiration and D for diarrhea. Now the last topic is how to treat metabolic acidosis. A primary aim should be the treatment of underlying cause. So that is why you should be knowing all the causes. Specific therapy should be done first. As in diabetic ketoacidosis first replace the fluid deficit followed by insulin whereas in lactic acidosis first restore adequate oxygenation and tissue perfusion. In salicylate poisoning, vigorous gastric lavage with isotonic saline followed by activated charcoal should be given. In ethanol intoxication, osmotic diuresis, thiamine supplementation and fomepizole should be given. Fomepizole competitively inhibit alcohol dehydrogenase. Second is sodium uh, bicarbonate. It should be reserved for severe cases where pH is less than 7.15. Soda bicarb to be given is calculated by 0.3 into base excess into body weight divided by 2 in milliequivalents. Let's calculate with an example of our diabetic superman whose body weight is 80 kgs. pH is 7.08, bicarb is 12, base excess is minus 10 or you can say base deficit of 10 milliequivalents per liter. So soda bicarb to be administered is 0.3 into 10 into 80 divided by 2 that comes out to be 120 milliequivalents after which another ABG is to be measured after half an hour. The last in treatment, treatment is hemodialysis which is done in refractory cases. So this was all about metabolic acidosis. I hope you understood this topic. Do like and share this video if you found the content and information useful. And do subscribe our channel to get the updates about my new videos. Do leave a comment if you have any query about the topic. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you.